Hi everyone! On this channel and our blog you can find many guides and use cases covering various aspects of work in the Peak Spider. But it appeared that the most essential and simplest use case was still missing. And today I want to explain you how to crawl and analyze websites in a Peak Spider. Let's start! The main reasons you may need website crawling are SEO audit and detection of website issues. It's no biggie to perform these tasks in a big spider. In order to do so, just copy website address and paste it straight to the initial URL field. Then a little bit to the right hit the start button and you can watch the crawling process on the dashboard tab. As soon as crawling will be done, dashboard will change its design to notify you that it's actually finished. Also, you can stop the crawling manually by hitting the pause button. To continue crawling, click again on the start button. But if you want to rerun crawling, click on the restart button. Actually, you will need the restart in cases if you changed some settings and you want previously crawled URLs to be rescanned considering those new settings. That's pretty much it about starting the crawling and pausing and finished it, so let me show you how to detect issues. As soon as crawling is finished and dashboard changed its design, let's go and find out how many issues we could detect. Go to the reports, issues, and here you can see that issues marked with red color are severe errors. Yellow – just warnings, and blue ones – only notices. Don't be in a hurry to fix all the blue ones, because it's not always issues that you should fix um, in the first time, because some of them are just notifications. To see a list of URLs where we could detect specific issue, just click on its name and on URL Explorer tab you will see a complete list of pages with specific issues. If you want to learn more about any of the issues, just click on its name, then expand info panel, and here you can see how it hurts your SEO, how to fix it, and several useful links to read more about it. We have several ways to export issue reports from the tool. Having the table with filtered results open, click the export button to get only pages from currently open table. Also, you can use export menus from top panel or far right corner. They are exactly the same. Here you can get all issue reports at once or get special reports or extra large reports or the most popular option, all available reports at once. Also, I want to mention that all the Peak Spider Pro and Premium users can get any report straight to the Google Drive. To enable this option, go to the Settings, Export tab, and choose Google Sheets option. Then add your Google account, approve its access uh, to your Google Drive, and all the further reports will be sent straight to the Google Sheets. Let me show you how it looks like. We create a Peak Spider Exports folder where you can see subfolders for each project. Let's open the one that we just crawled and we can see here three tables. I exported them previously and let me explain each of them. They are the most popular ones, so I consider that you may be interested. The first one is Broken Links Report. Here you can see from which URL the broken link was found, then target URL status code, uh, and which anchor text, which alt attribute and rel attribute uh, was used for this link. So it's easier to fix uh, and find them on the page. Then redirects incoming links and final URLs. From which URL that link uh, was found, then source URL, it means the page that redirects us to another one. And, and then, at the end, the final URL. So, it's like a task for your developer to replace links from D column on, with links from H column. And at the end, 
hreflang summary that contains uh, first of all a list of all pages and how many hreflang links it they contain and the list of all hreflang links on each of the pages so you can quickly work with multilingual websites and hreflang optimization using this report please note that the issues will be detected according to the selected parameters to figure out what parameters can be checked for this or that issues, go to the Parameters tab, click on any of them, and open Info Panel. Here you can see the spotting issues for each parameter, and the same way for each issue. Click on any of them, and then see which parameter is target for detecting of this issue. To crawl any website and check it for issues in Epic Spider, you should follow a simple drill. First of all, enter the website address into the initial URL field. Then launch the crawling by hitting the start button and as soon as will be finished, open the reports tab. By clicking on any issue name, you will open a complete list of pages that contains it. You can export them using either export button or export menu, where you can find all available reports. That's it. Thanks a lot for watching. If you enjoyed this video, click on the like button, subscribe to our channel, and if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in comments below or during an online demonstration. You can book it following a link in the video description. My colleagues will show you the functionality of our tools and answer all your questions personally. I wish you a good day and a lot of traffic. Bye-bye.